Today, I'm gonna give you a few reasons why Manny Fresh is one of the greatest producers of all time. Let's get into it. John Dominic made the beat and logo kill. Not only did he shape New Orleans, better yet a whole co sound for what it is today, or carry cash money on his back as a one-man band in-house producer, or have a great amount of hits as an artist, yet alone a producer, having some of the greatest commentary intros of all time, like, the list could go on and on. But the real reason I'm here today is to highlight the never-ending feels and alternate melodies and or chords that he used in his beats all the time. If we could jump in a time machine and go back to the 99 and 2000, you heard me? No. We would end up around the time where Juvenile's hit single, Bad That Ass Up, was being produced. If I'm correct, I think Manny Fresh used the SP-1200 to make the beat. The melody of that beat consists of classical sounding strings that gel together with delayed horn stabs. Which brings me to my main point, the pizzicatos. Now for years I always wondered, what always kept me intrigued with that song? What was it about that record that always made me listen to it the whole way through every time? And for me being a student of the game, nitpicking every sound that my favorite producers used, I finally figured it out. It was the unquantized pizzicatos that he used that was doing alternate melodies every eight bars or so. Yeah, the strings were definitely unquantized, as if he did one full take throughout the whole beat. Today, we have a mock setup of the drum pattern here. Let's play it. So if we get to the basics of the melody, he just used a variety of strings from staccatos to pizzicatos to regular legatos. And here's how it sounds. But if you listen closely, I took the pizzicatos and I shifted them. One is hitting slightly later than what it should, and one is hitting slightly earlier than what it should. And if you go back into the original song, you can also hear it. Listen closely. Right there. You hear how that last note just hit right before it should? And then it drops to the beat. He's playing the pizzicatos, not really worrying about being on time, just filling the record out. And we're gonna do the same. I don't think it's no quantizing involved in that. Then he comes right back with these strings behind him. Dog, it gets no better than that. And as I mentioned in a Lil John video, I think those strings right there just added a whole different feel to it. it it's kind of like one of those sounds that kind of just put you in a trance almost. Like, especially if you out somewhere, the function just vibing. Like, you you go to hearing that beat, and and as it keeps progressing, it's like it just get more interesting and more interesting and more interesting. And as you can see right here, he used the feel right here. He did that in a lot of his beats. He always did that. And he did different versions of that. He'll use one snare roll here, one snare roll there, one snare roll in another place. And I mean, he just always kept his beats interesting. And the most important thing, I mean, he's the king of bounce. And I mean, bounce music at that. And and if you want to talk about just our version of bounce, like just a, a bounce, a vibe to a beat. I think he's one of those who, you know, him, Timbaland, people that I'm gonna speak on later in the episodes, He's one of the King of Bounce also. But even besides this record, he has many other records I like, like The Greatest by T.I., Top Back, and Damn What by Jeezy. I mean, that might be one of my favorite beats by Manny Fresh of all time. I just love the way he did that beat. Manny Fresh is definitely one of my biggest influences, and 
I just want to take the time to just salute a legend and I'm glad we got to talk about him. Y'all go ahead and get in the comments and drop your favorite song, Manny Fresh Ever Produced. And tell me what was the thing that you liked about his beats? Was it the melodies? Was it the drums? Was it, what was it? Like, what did you like so much about Manny Fresh Beats? I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all know what time it is. Drawn Dummy Gang, we out. Hit that like and subscribe. Let's get it.